Welcome back to Filipino Time. And here we are with Shannon King for the part two of his collection. And today we're going to look at some of the pieces which took more time than usual for him to acquire. So let's start off with this Seiko UFO. All right. So glad to be back again from our the break. previous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I really like the UFO because when I put it on, um, swak eh, so wrist size, so presence, and then yung itsura ng dial and everything. Yeah. So, so actually, what what uh, Fed meant kanina, as I was telling him that this is my third UFO. Okay. So first I had the international version. Uh, then I got a JDM version, but uh, it wasn't that uh, good of an edition. Then finally, when I found this, because people were selling this at a high price, yes. that wasn't uh, reasonable. So I found I found a reasonable one. Then I had it fixed by Mangloy, which we know fixes uh, everything. <laughs> uh, then yeah, I, I I really you know fell in love with uh, this watch, and out of all my vintage watches, no, a lot of. Uh, uh, coming on na rin, wala na. But this one stayed. Plus, uh, of course, the thing about watch collecting also, you get to meet a lot of uh, good people, friends na you haven't seen in person, you just chat to them, you don't even talk to them on the phone. So, a uh, good, good friend of mine, Gus, uh, sent me this bracelet for free. So, now it's a, it's a complete watch, so I'm not necessarily a purist, like they say. No, mm -hmm. There are a lot of purists uh, that have everything has to be really done around me with my watches but this one is all original it's all complete i love this uh stamp class yeah. with the seiko 5 sports <laughs> i actually have a lot of these <laughs> <laughs> i started collecting the <laughs> the class because, okay because you know I, if you wanted to have jdm watches yes you, you, had, you, you had to have the, the class, class to match yes um Unfortunately, the bracelets before were all short. Yes. I don't know, maybe the Japanese were smaller. Yeah. Uh, so I had to use an extender. Yeah. You know, oh. Very important for people like me, an extender. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is my third UFO. And, you know, if ever there would be a fourth one, it would be the one with the, the rarer one, with the stamp here. Okay. So, anybody want to offer Shannon an UFO? <laughs> Just send him a message. <laughs> so this this UFO, Shannon, how long have you had it? Mm, I think another time. Just a year. Because I'm a new collector. Oh, okay. I started collecting 2019 now. Oh, okay. Uh, so Swerty Knife uh, watch stays with me for you know, over a year. So, but this one is uh, pretty old now in, in my standards. Okay. But the dial looks really fresh. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I didn't have anything, you know, repainted. Okay. So, uh, People who can restore it, but uh, I kept it as is. The, yeah. the, the, the most I would do would be, you know, have the crystal polish. Yeah. Yeah. I'll jump back here this way a bit, and um, an interesting piece in Shannon's collection is an Ocean X. Yeah. So tell us about this Ocean X. This came yesterday, so I was <laughs> I was actually out of town, and this was shipped uh, to my house. Um, you know, I mentioned earlier that you make uh, friends with people. So this one is from uh, Attorney Werlu. Um, you know, I've been reducing my collection. I used to have uh, 54 watches. Wow. Now okay. it's down to 15 minus 2 because the two of are from my kids. Uh, but I'm thinking about this one. He's um, either selling it to me or, you know, having me sell it for him. Because I, I, I don't have a Rolex. So, you know, test, test first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like it. It's, you know, relatively affordable and looks to be of quality. So I'll probably wear it over the weekend. And we'll see. I've also owned an Ocean X. I had a similar model. So the one I had was like an homage to James Cameron, uh, the James Cameron Deep Sea Sea Dweller. Um, what I like about Ocean X, and you can check them out on uh, Watch Library Manila. And what's interesting about Ocean X is they try to 
get all of these different ideas from famous Rolex pieces and I think even some of them from Tudor no? and they try they try different things and see if it works and it's interesting to see what combinations they can come up with and I was telling Shannon one of the most interesting to me was um, an homage to the Daytona with a pink dial that's very interesting so next we have your will, boutique edition I will probably google that <laughs> <laughs> Your boutique edition SPD. Yes. So, yun, um, similar to the UFO, um, I've had three iterations of this okay. watch. First, I got uh, an original 6105. However, the dial was aftermarket. Okay. So, at that time, and even up to now, the 6105s are expensive. So, uh, when I got to purchase that one, at that time, uh, that was what I could afford. So, okay, naman siya. Then, you know, you would post it online, yes. people would comment, and someone said it was fake. Ouch. So, <laughs> well, to a certain extent, it may be true. Uh, everything else was original, but the dial was aftermarket. Okay. So it was really clean. But then, you know, it eats at you. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I, I let it go immediately. I acquired uh, a more original one okay. with the loom rot and everything. So, it's like it's a But, you know, Later on, your taste evolves as you go through collections. And then as they grow, you have a lot of maintenance costs, yeah. right? So at least the interest was there and still a sought after piece. Yeah. So uh, people express interest, so I sold it off. But did you like the bigger case? or this I like the bigger case. Um, yeah. Well, this one, I believe, is closer to the yeah. uh, versus the green and the blue one. Okay, oh, okay. So I believe this one is closer to the original 6105 case. Okay. Similar to the UFO, I like how it sits um, yeah. on my wrist. You know, it's a perfect size for me. Yeah. It's uh, flatter than the regular turtle. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is my third um, iteration of the six. But I know you're already lusting for a fourth one. I am. I am. So <laughs> we've been chatting, and you know, I've been expressing interest. Uh, the white one, the the glacier one. So save the ocean glacier, glacier um, Willard. But you know, this one. When I wear it, I forget that I have a watch. So, uh, Fed was asking me earlier, uh, which what which watch do you wear the most? Uh, this is the one actually. So, funny thing is, you know, this is now my beater, but it's still minty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And compared to the last piece we were yeah. discussing, you know, <laughs> I guess I'm more careful with my Seikos than with my other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is the third one. I'm not sure if there's gonna be a fourth one. I really wanted an SLA 03. Okay. Yes. I guess it's the ultimate dream for the, yes. you know, the Willard series, but yeah. it's way uh, too expensive in my opinion. So okay. for now, uh, happy with this. And of course, uh, the bracelet. You know, yeah, you didn't change it. I didn't change it. Uh, perfect. So just like the um, 62 mass bracelets. Yes. Uh, this bracelet for the boutique edition of the Willard is. Uh, Perfect for the watch, so nice. no need to change it. Nice. So it has some rose gold accents, and I don't know if the viewers can see or if you've seen this watch already. Uh, the dial is very interesting. Um, it's called Mystic Lagoon. So. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, but um, the pat, well, I guess you call it the pattern or the finish. And just looking at it, I think I know why Shannon likes this watch a lot. Oh, I forgot to mention the... Yeah. The marker. Oh, yeah, the yeah. little three o'clock marker. Yeah, now, nowadays they have the three o'clock marker. I actually like it. There are a lot of people I know who don't like the three o'clock marker. Okay. But I'm actually happy with it. I like things to be balanced. So, yes. Yeah, one of the more perfect um, editions that Seiko released. And now your BMBY. Yes. So, similarly, um, three iterations, three iterations, probably the fourth one. Okay. I had a lot of. Uh, Lesser popular BNB wise. Yes. Uh, you know, it's something that as a Seiko collector, you really needed to have. Um, yeah, so this was made in 1983. I won't, say, I won't mention the month anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, I had uh, three other BNB wise, but they were actually small. Okay. So they were watches for men, but at that time, uh, watches were uh, smaller. Yeah. Now, when this popped out, it was actually 
a bit pricey, but did you buy it here or from abroad? I I I actually traded traded it with uh, Doctor Miko. Okay. Um, he was happy to acquire one of my pieces as well, so it was an easy deal. Okay. And I believe there's a lot of history to this watch, so it's it's, it's called the Synchro Timer. Um. Well, I'll talk about the looks first. Now, so it's symmetrical. Yeah. So all 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 four uh, pushers and crowns are symmetrical. Yes. Um. I like the bracelet. It's it's you know I think for a 1980s watch it's a bit modern for that time. Mm -hmm. The size is okay. Uh, it's not what what I'm used to. But you know it's something you can live with. I believe it's 38. Yeah, and it's really thin. Yeah. Um. No date, oh. so, which is a plus. I, I tend to enjoy no dates nowadays because oh, it's okay. easier to you know just wear them rather than right, to set right. it. Yeah, everything works. Uh, bracelet is still long, so if I get a bigger wrist, I could still wear it. And yeah, it's it's a synchro timer, so it's the world's first. Um, I know there's a lot of world's first. But right, right. I guess I'll, I'll research again on what. Yeah, what the first chrono for yeah. synchro. Yeah. yeah. Here. So definitely this will stay. I still want a BMW Y turtle. But oh, okay. I still haven't found it. Okay. So yeah, this is my only BMW Y, right? So when do you wear this one? Special occasions. Oh, okay. yeah. Special occasions, or if it's a uh, an immediate family member's birthday. Okay. My dad, my mom, or my kids, I would wear this. And yeah, really happy with it. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And this one is. I guess what we call the last of the Mohicans, because <laughs> <laughs> as you know, Shannon went through uh, yellow fever. Yeah. Uh, what, what was the highest number I, of yellow watches? I think I had a total of uh, twenty-two yellow watches. Yellow watches. <laughs> okay. The revolver. This is the revolver. So I had uh, two other revolvers, a blue oh, one and okay. a black one. Okay. Um, is that the complete lineup? Blue, yellow, and black. Yes, I haven't seen any other color. I would okay. I, sometimes I would see a yellow gold one, but okay. I believe it's just the angle of the shot. Okay. So I had three. Um, you know, um, sometimes you would pair watches. You know, you had two of the same kind. So at a certain point in my collecting journey, I had three of each. Okay. Um, so actually. Uh, they return to the people I bought them from. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, you make friends with watch collecting, you make transactions easier. And I, I really like this design. I also had an OSD, which actually was a, a grail of mine. You know, it's sometimes you fixate on collecting. If you want to acquire something or a specific piece, then you fixate on it and eventually you get it. <laughs> right? So, you make it sound so easy. <laughs> <laughs> but but now that you know you put these two great watches aside, uh, both Orient stars, both yellow dials, you know you, you realize that maybe this is too much. I just need one, so I let it go to a really nice person <laughs> sitting over there. <laughs> but Shannon, tell us about the bracelet. Oh yeah, this is an Uncle Seiko uh, razor wire. So this it's a interpretation of a what they call a bike chain, I think. Okay. A uh, vintage like bike chain. So, but okay. uh, Uncle Seiko called this razor wire. Okay. It looks dangerous, but it's really, really comfortable. You also had that one bracelet before that uh, you needed a special tool. Which one was that? Um, is it the the regular razor? No, I don't remember. But Shannon has so many bracelets and so many straps, and it's just hard to keep up with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it, it's because I'm relatively new to the collecting journey, but you know, I'm I'm actually I feel I'm actually figuring out you know uh, the watches that fit me better. Okay, but we will see, and things change. Yeah, I like the design. Um, looks, I think looks it was really cool. a bracelet with multi tool. Oh yes, yeah. yes, ah uh, yes. It's it's a version of the Leatherman multi tool. Yeah, yeah. Then you just buy adapters for the watch. So I Very put it, cool. I put it on a, I think a monster. Yeah, a Seiko monster. Uh yeah, it was cool. Uh, of course, you post it again and you get a lot of feedback, especially the foreigners. They yeah, yeah. That. Uh yeah, but you know, I I don't really have a real use for it. So mm -hmm. of course, it's just something you fixate, you purchase, you use. <laughs> Then you're done with it. Yeah. I believe uh, 
a doctor purchase it. Okay. Me. When I uh, let go of stuff, I usually just let it go at the uh, price I acquired it, yeah. or you know, I'll, I'll let them lower. So that's yeah. Thank you for remembering. Yeah, that. yeah, very nice bracelet. <laughs> I actually got the idea from Sherwin. Um, yeah, he used it on a baby thing. Oh, okay. So I got that idea. We we have you know little gatherings. Okay. He showed me what he was wearing. Then you fixate on. Oh, I want one. I want one. <laughs> so lastly, we have. Um, beautiful beautiful piece and it's one of the pieces in Shannon's collection I think that will stay yes definitely. yeah so tell us about this one Shannon yeah this is a, a reissue of the Omega Mark II um, I got this from trade I actually traded five watches for this. wow so, okay you know sometimes uh, it justifies it if you really like the watch yeah. this had the original uh, stainless steel bracelet but unfortunately it doesn't fit me anymore so I had um, June of 214 take this uh, strap. I actually saw this watch with this kind of strap on the oh, internet. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's easy to, you know, have friends and talk to them and, you know, sh show them pegs and they'll do it for you. This one actually has uh, aged a lot faster I mean the strap. But it looks perfect. Yeah, I, I like it. Um, and, you know, this is uh, really sought after piece a lot of people have mes messaged me about it okay but it will probably stay in my collection mainly because i like how it looks so yeah, that's, yeah. that's the first thing you uh, you get to do with watches you you fall in love with how it looks first then you check out the history unfortunately yeah i mentioned earlier uh, i'm more careful with my seiko so this <laughs> one has a lot of scratches so mm -hmm. maybe it's a sign that you know this watch will stay I mean, you see my face when I look at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful watch, and uh, it's grown a little bit larger from the original. But mm. it, well, I think Shannon and I can agree that we like them like bigger. Them bigger yeah. yeah, I like the subtle orange of the the chapter. Yes, yes, I can see that. And then this tachymeter actually glows. Oh, yeah. okay. If you shine a light on it. Okay. So it's and just, it's inside, no? So it's inside. everything's flush. Yeah. Yeah. So what's next, Shannon? What's the next grill? Um, probably want a Tudor first okay. before going into Rolex. You know, it's something that maybe I would want to experience. So okay. It's not necessarily the end game. But, mm -hmm. but before I actually started uh, watch collecting, I, I have been following uh, Vacheron for a while. Oh, okay. But of course, the pricing is really, you know, out of my league right now. But the thing about collecting is you... Um, fix yourself. You organize, so you make sacrifices. You um, save up money for that purchase. So, so it's really something that I believe is a healthier distraction than any of the vices okay. that you usually have. And I really like, you know, communities like mm -hmm. Filipino time. Um, people share. You see watches that, wow! I think I like this, like the, the, Low Pro. Yeah, that's a beautiful I, watch. Well, I, I like it uh, in the photos, but I, I've seen one in person. Mm -hmm. So I may be sidetracked to uh, Omega first before mm -hmm. going to other Swiss, Swiss brands. Yes. That would look so good beside this. Yes. <laughs> they, they, they both have orange accents. Yes. Yeah. So what for the Tudor, which model were, were you thinking of? I saw the P1. I fitted one. Okay. Um, looks good, but you know, probably not. Uh, uh, two door chrono probably. Okay. So most likely a chrono. Okay. That's why you know I, I wanted to try this one. Okay. Just to, just to get the feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And maybe one with bigger pushers and counts first. Okay. Before setting. Um. There are also yellow two doors, so we'll see. <laughs> I, I, I still like the yellow for okay. a watch. I, I like watches that stand out. Okay. Um, conversation starters. So. Right. Right. All right. Thank you, Shannon, for sharing. Thank you, everybody, for watching. See you soon.